to Martha's Kitchen where we cook and serve with love. And today I am going to watch a round of golf. But before I do that, I would like to teach you how to make Winnie's healthy porridge. Now this porridge is so healthy, you will just love it. So let's get cooking. And here are ingredients. You will be needing water. Then you'll be needing some sugar. You will also be needing some red sorghum flour. Now my product is red sorghum flour. It's usually a mix of red sorghum, white sorghum and millet. And it's found in your supermarkets. It's called Winnie's Pure Health Uji Afia and as you can see it's uh, on the cover it's red sorghum no chemicals or additives or preservatives let me tell you my mother always tried to get me to drink porridge but for some reason I just never liked porridge until the day that I found Winnie's Health um, porridge and it's just been a game changer. It also has a lot of vitamins, one, two, three. It has potassium, magnesium, sodium. It has carbohydrates and protein. It's absolutely fantastic. So let's continue cooking. So step number one is the most important part of how to cook your porridge because if you don't mix your porridge really well at the beginning you are going to get plenty of lumps and it's going to be too thick huh? so because we don't want that we want nice smooth porridge what we're going to do is mix it first in a little bowl like so at the very beginning so you'll take uh, three tablespoons of Winnie sorghum flour then we are going to put in uh, half a teaspoon of sugar. And for those of you who really love sugar, go ahead and put a little bit more, it's okay. And then at this point, we are going to put in three quarters of a cup of water into a mix. And then we're going to mix this really, really well until it's nice and smooth and it has no lumps. So take your time, mix it. It mixes pretty easily and you'll notice some lumps so you continue mixing until they are all gone. Otherwise, this is what you're going to have in the end when you cook and lumpy porridge is not nice till you get it nice and smooth like so and so I did forget to mention that you do need one lime or lemon and the reason for this is so that your porridge can come out nice and sticky and also have a really fantastic taste so go ahead remove the seeds first then you can squeeze in the juice into your mixture before you cook it. Go ahead and mix it up. That will be fantastic. This porridge serves one person because I live alone, of course. So if you're making it for two or three persons, go ahead and double or triple the same ingredients and that's how you'll get the right mixtures or the right amounts for a few more persons. Excellent. So step number two, in a sufuria or pot like so, go ahead and put in two full cups of water and then let it boil 
So this is in high heat until it boils. And once your water boils, reduce your heat to the minimal like so, so that your porridge can cook without any lumps. Then take your mixture and pour it in like so into your water and give it a good stir from right at the bottom round and round until your water and your flour mixes and integrates together perfectly like so and then we're going to give it about a minute to boil or to start simmering and then we'll give it another good mix and after one minute if you look closely you'll see that your porridge is starting to stick together and it's looking absolutely fabulous give it another star you can see how it's simmering and how it sticks together give it another two minutes and your porridge should be perfectly cooked excellent so my porridge is perfectly cooked and for those of you who know how hot porridge normally is I like to put mine in a basin of water you can take a big basin and put uh, water halfway so that it doesn't get into the porridge and just throw your pot or sufuria inside like so give it about five minutes and your porridge will perfectly cool down to the temperature that you want and once your porridge is done pour it out into your little bowl or plate like so and you'll notice that it's absolutely fantastic so let's go ahead and taste it mmm 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 this porridge is the best thing that you'll have for breakfast the lime gives it that extra touch and it's all sticky yet smooth it's absolutely fantastic and for the health reasons you will thank me later and if you like the recipes that I've been churning out every week kindly press the like and the subscribe button and let's meet here every Mondays for a new and exciting recipe and don't forget that this recipe is typed down in the description box down below so have yourselves a great week and bye